Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, today's topic is, as you know, is vital force. So let's let's go ahead and discuss that topic. It's uh, written in Organon of Medicine, one of the princip as a, one of the principles written by Dr. Samuel Hahnemann uh, in um, in the Organon of Medicine, the book itself that talks about all of the principles based on which homeopathy evolved as a system of medicine. So what exactly is vital force? Vital force is a dynamic force that uh, helps regulate our bodily functions. It helps regulate our everything from secretion, digestion, reproductive uh, functions, to self-preservation, self-recognition. So all of that is governed or is harmoniously operated by something known as vital force. Uh, we as just like a gravitational force or just like a magnetic field, uh, vital force is not visible to us, but still we can we can uh, observe its presence by bodily functions and bodily uh, normal f functions of the body or the way we act, we talk, walk, do all sorts of activities. Thinking also is <clears throat> in, uh, one of the components uh, that vital force um, governs and because because uh, vital force is considered as a diet is considered as a dynamic plane on which all of the bodily functions are carried out, our sleep, thirst, aversions, cravings, everything. On that dynamic plane is where homeopathic medicines act. Uh, and that's why whenever you're taking a homeopathic remedy, uh, when you're, whenever you're placing it on your tongue, your tongue being rich in nerve supply what happens is all of the medicinal properties of the drug are taken up by the nerve impulses and they are transferred over to the brain central nervous system which is brain and brain in response to that uh, medicinal properties of the drug it reacts to that arouses an action and gives signal to the body that okay this is something disordered this is need to be done this hormone needs to be secreted veins need, need to be dilated or constricted whatever needs to be done to uh, restore normal functions of that person okay a very popular example uh, given to explain this vital force is a dynamo which operates on steam engine or any other power source. What happens is this dynamo uh, converts the magnetic energy into electrical impulses and that's how it gives um, proper function to that machine. So dynamo is a machine and uh, it converts the magnetic uh, field, the, it converts the surrounding magnetic field energy into electric energy. Likewise, our central nervous system is a machine. It is driven by chemical force, which is, uh, the, which is derived from food. So chemical energy that we get for our bodily functions is derived from food, which <clears throat> through electrovital induction. So this electrical chemical energy and vital force which which tells our body to function properly uh, like secrete hormones, dilate uh, artery, uh, dilate veins, constrict veins, that all of that. So that electrovital induction from surrounding vital field converts vital energy into nerve current or impulses. So human body function depends on this force, which is necessary to carry out its operation based on the central power station. So central power station meaning our central nervous system, our brain, okay? Uh, there's one more example given to explain. Uh, vital force is just like gravitational 
force which is invisible but we observe its effect practically uh, like earth holding the moon's position in, in at a specific distance in a specific orbit the tidal waves created due to moon's gravitational activity and so on so likewise uh, the homeopathic medicines act on dynamic plane they generate impulses to our brain our nervous system so that there is optimal hormone secretion blood supply regulation whatever is needed to be done if at all there is a deficiency if at all there you have like uh, gastrointestinal problems uh, like cramping in the stomach and stuff like that then definitely the medicine given to you what will it do is it will send impulses to the brain that stop the excessive peristaltic action in the intestine just slow it down take it easy okay and ju just not that but overall if this patient has diarrhea ulcers and things like that all of um, all of the things will be covered under the homeopathic treatment so this is in short about uh, the theory of vital force if you're interested uh, it is aphorism 9 10 and 11 uh, in the organon of Re medicine which was written by dr samuel hanneman you can go read about it definitely there is a lot more detailed approach to it uh, once you start reading it but this is just overall like a definition of what vital force is and how does it relate to homeopathic treatment so that's all for today and you guys have a great saturday bye bye see you